Am I in a relationship? What inspired me to start my YouTube channel? Why did I start my second YouTube channel? So today I'm doing my first Q&A video and I recently asked you all to send me some questions, uh, anything you wanted to know about me and I'll answer them here on YouTube. So without further ado, let's get into that video. What inspired me to start my YouTube channel? The answer to that question is I thought about my dad and my dad uh, was an entertainer and uh, he has left a legacy behind for all of his friends and family to witness. So we can listen to his songs that he's recorded on YouTube and other music platforms. So I figured why not leave a legacy as well for my friends and family. And I started a YouTube channel so that my friends and family could look at this when, I, when I'm no longer here and then remember me in some sort of way. And that is actually what inspired me to start a YouTube channel. Right now, I currently use Caden Live, and I'll put that here somewhere. So, Caden Live uh, software, uh, I do pay about $50 a year for that subscription, and I edit my videos on that. I also use, or just started recently using, another software called InShot Video Editing Tool, and uh, that's another software. It's about $13 a year. I use those editing tools uh, for my videos. Currently, I have 787 subscribers. I do also have another channel I just started called Relax with Faces of Angie, which is geared towards all things relaxation to help you be able to sleep at night and relax during the day and music that you can listen to maybe at work. Since I just started it this week, I have five subscribers, but I'm sure that channel will grow as well as this channel, Faces of Angie. Why did I start my second YouTube channel? The name of that channel is called Relax with Faces of Angie and I started that channel because, you know, after losing my son and my, uh, my pets, I have a hard time sleeping at night. Some of the videos that I've, I've created on Faces with Angie kind of helped me. So I figured why not help other people out there that may be going through the same thing and having trouble sleeping or just can't deal with the stress of life, you know. The world that we live in now is really crazy. And sometimes you need a break from that. So this channel is going to be towards all things relaxation, spa music, jazz music, classical music. There are videos or music that you can play for your dogs too that will help them relax. I used to play a lot of Gracie's Corners for my dogs, um, classical music and things of that nature. Dogs need to relax as well. And um, the same form of relaxation that they actually like is the things that we like. That is pretty much why I created the second YouTube channel, um, just to help myself and maybe help someone else to relax and get through the day. Thank you for that question. How do I take care of my pet's paws? So what I do is whenever they go out for a walk, and they come back in, I will take a damp rag, no soap or anything because I don't want to use that on my dogs, but just a wet damp rag and clean their paws, brush it off a little. You know, they constantly lick their paws and I don't want them to take in too much dirt, you know, although they're outside, they're gonna consume some kind of dirt. Now I have a new pet, her name is Bella, she's a pit bull, she loves to cuddle. So she's always on my couch and chairs, so I'm not gonna have her on the couch and chairs that kind of pause. So I'll just wipe her down a little bit. How do I take care of my pets in the heat? Make sure 
They have ample amount of water. They go outside when they need to, when it's hot. I don't really take them out too much in the heat. I did research a video and it said, you know, to maybe fill the ground before you take your dog out. And if the ground or the pavement is too hot for your hands, then it's most likely too hot for their paws. And if the ground is too hot, she's not going out for a walk. She'll go in the backyard because the grass is easier on their paws and less hot. So if she needs to go out, she's going to go in the backyard. And after it's cooled down a little bit, I'll take her out for a walk. If I have her out in the car, I do have a bowl of water. I keep a gallon of water in the car. If she seems like she's really thirsty, I'll definitely stop and give her some water. So I'm pretty much uh, very, very keen on taking care of my dogs, especially in extreme hot weather. The next question that I received, the viewer wanted to know, how am I doing? Recently, I have experienced some loss. I lost my son, my only child. I lost him in November of 2022. Shortly after that, I lost my pet princess, January of 2023. Two months after that, my dog Prince passed away in March of 2023. All three of them were very, very dear to me and it was very hard and it still is hard. I still have my moments. I actually am clinically depressed. I'm dealing. I, I, I don't know what else to say, but I'm dealing and taking it day by day. To anyone that is experiencing that kind of loss and trauma and anything of that nature, I would say go to the higher source. For me, it's God. I pray a lot. I never wavered from God. I may have had questions, but never wavered from God's ability to heal and to strengthen me. Thank you for that concern and thank you for that question and I appreciate you um, asking about my well-being. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Am I in a relationship? And the answer to that is yes. I am engaged to uh, my fiance, John. We'll get married soon. I don't know when, but when the time is right, the time is right and we'll get married. But yes, I am in a relationship. How do I take care of my hair? And it actually depends on where I am. So if I'm in New York, I can't use the same products that I use when I'm in North Carolina because the weather down there is, to me is much better for my hair. It's more moisture. And in New York, it's very dry. So I have to do something different. So in New York, I'll start off with Shea Moisture Castor Oil Shampoo, follow up with Motion Shampoo, and then a deep conditioning with Pantene. I like to air dry my hair. Uh, I like my hair to air dry, but most recently, because of all the tra uh, trauma that I've experienced, my hair has been damaged and breaking. So I would just blow it out and maybe put it in braids and keep it moving. In North Carolina, however, I just use Shea Moisture, Pantene Shampoo, and then I will let my hair air dry and keep it moving. I use nothing but MAC products. Everything MAC. All things MAC. That is so good, I'm telling you. Thanks for that question. How do I come up with my recipe? So I watch a lot of YouTubers and I see what they do and I come up with my own uh, recipes. And um, yeah, that's what I do with that. I do watch Gina Young, In the Kitchen with Gina Young. And I also watch Raylan Elise. I also watch Lifestyles with Melanie Graves and she's really good. She's um, Actually, one of the first that I started watching, when I started watching YouTube, uh, she was at that point was doing pretty much all things Christmas and um, home decor. Now she's more into lifestyle videos. I just was introduced to Rissa and Kwan. They're cute. I like them. They, they have a really nice relationship. They're growing their family. Their content is really nice. And they have really good points and tips on how to get into this business and how to maintain it. So I really like watching those YouTubers. We have any plans on writing a book? And um, yeah, sometime in the future, I would say yes. Yes, uh, 
that's actually always been a thing for me. I always wanted to write a book, but just never got around to it or have a you know, little writer's block and just can't finish a thought or something like that. So I just put it down and then by the time I pick it up, that you know, pick it up again is years later. So yeah, eventually I would like to write a book, um, children's book. I do have something in mind in the future, not the near future, but somewhere in the future, I would definitely go write a book. The next question the viewer would like to know, what are my favorite foods? And my favorite food or my favorite cuisine really is Italian food. I like Italian food, spaghetti, lasagna, anything like that. Um, I really do appreciate that. Pizza, um, stromboli, yeah, love it all. So Italian is my favorite go-to dish. do I look forward to in the next year? And so for me, it is to become a better person, to get better at my craft. I love creating videos. I'm actually enjoying this. And the more I learn, the more I get into it. So I take pointers from my sisters, my son when he was here, my nephews, anybody, uh, other YouTubers. I'm definitely always educating myself, um, looking at YouTube videos and researching them, studying them. Uh, I'm not just really looking at them just to, you know, I'm a fan. Yes, I am a fan of the people that I look at, but I'm just looking at their editing techniques, their diction, what are they talking about, how they dress, how they conduct themselves, how they, their demeanor, their personality, how that comes across, all of those things. So definitely to get better at my craft and become a better person and uh, to go on with life, accepting the things that have happened and knowing that I, there's nothing I can do about it, can't change it. So best thing to do is go forth and be happy for the people that I have around me to make them happy as they make me happy. So that's going to wrap it up for today, my first Q&A. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you to all of my subscribers. I appreciate you all. You don't know how much you mean to me and how much this helps my channel to grow. Share the videos. I mean, that's for any YouTuber that you like. If you share the content, it, you'll push it out to people that I can't push it out to. Like the video. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Again, subscribe, like, share, and comment down below. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next one.